I heard an arts administrator say, what we really want when we hire a performing artist, what we really want, I mean, what we really want is excellence. I heard her say that, and I'm thinking, what's that supposed to mean, excellence? I'm picturing her asking an artist, are you striving for excellence? And the artist is going, what do you think? Actually, I'm aiming for mediocrity. Imagine interviewing Robert Motherwell, the painter who said abstract art is a form of mysticism. And you say to him, are you striving for excellence? And Robert Motherwell starts hitting you over the head with a canvas covered frame. Bam, 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 like Emeril Lagasse doing a midnight snack. Your blood spattering on the wall and the crime scene investigator goes, this blood pattern on the wall, it's excellent. What's that supposed to mean, Mark Harmon? The arts administrator going, are you striving for excellence? As if that buzzword justifies your job. Ask that to Jean Cocteau. Jean Cocteau, you've created some nice books and movies, but are you striving for excellence? And Jean Cocteau, the guy who said, our errors sanctify us. Arts administrator going, oh, well, I'm not sure if we can have anyone in our grant program who makes errors have to strive for excellence, you know. Jean Cocteau going, who is this person? He's stupid. He said, our errors sanctify us. Our mistakes set us apart. They make you different. Do something different than you did it before. Different than they tell you to do it. Different than the others do it. Do wrong things. Do your own thing and get your mind off the grants and the awards and the fellowships and the recognition you could pick up if you do it the way the arts administrators think you ought to do it. Do it wrong and do something in your own way. And if you can do that, if you can do that thing the way only you can do it, that wrong thing, that's what we call, that's what we call, you can call that art.